When you want to make money editing videos and when you actually want to do editing work for clients, you're going to find yourself in all sorts of situations where your clients are going to want a video that's a certain way. They're going to want it to be vertical. They're going to be want it to be high quality, whatever the case may be. But then they're going to give you files that don't necessarily line up with what they want. After all, that's why they're hiring you as a video editor because they want you to take whatever they can do and kind of fix it. They want your knowledge and they want your skills. And one of the ones that I come across very often is people giving me vertical videos or horizontal videos and then wanting the final product to be the opposite. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how to take a vertical video and utilize it in a horizontal sequence or vice versa. And I just want to be clear, this is not going to show you how to just simply rotate the video necessarily to turn a horizontal video vertical or a vertical one horizontal. That's a different video, but rather how to utilize what you've got in this. Let me just jump in and show you what I'm talking about here. Here's my screen and you can see I've already loaded up Premiere and I've already got a horizontal video, a vertical video, a horizontal sequence and a vertical sequence. So I'm going to start with the vertical sequence. Let's say you're making a video for TikTok, Instagram stories, whatever the case may be. So you want it to be vertical. You want it to be look like you're a person holding a phone, but you have a horizontal video to work with like this one right here. Okay, now as you can see, this is a video that I just shot in the same background that I'm currently using right now. This is in 4K and it's horizontal. So obviously I'm super close up right there. As you can see it all the way through, all the way through the video, I'm gonna be super close up. So here's what I would do to fix this. First of all, I would just click on the video layer here, right click on it, and I would go scale to frame size. What that's gonna do is that that's just going to bring it right down and it's going to scale it to the size of the frame. So now it's right dead in the middle of this vertical video. Now, another thing that you could do is you could change the background by coming down here, clicking this little guy right here, color mat. This should by default be okay, but make sure it's the same as your sequence, the width, the height, all that and then pick whatever color you want. So I'm gonna use white because white is very common. I usually just rename it to the color that I am using. And then what you would do with that is you would just pull this layer up. You'd put this new white layer that you just made underneath it and ba-bam, there you go. You've got something like that. And then this is usually where I start when people have horizontal videos that they want made into a vertical video. I'll make something like this and then I'll be adding you know, I'll put a title up here, maybe a progress bar down here, captions down here, and you've got all this real estate to work with. Now there's a handful of other ways that you can go about creating this background right here. But let me jump over to the horizontal sequence actually, because I want to show you the same thing vice versa. Something I'll use a lot if I have a vertical video and a horizontal sequence. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to have to scale this particular one down to the frame size so that again, this will just make it so that it's in the middle and you can actually see what you're dealing with for my own mental sanity here really quick. Let me just cut out all that shaky camera work at the beginning. Something that I'll do a lot here too. This is going to be the same concept, but another thing you can do is if you grab this, if you hold down option and grab this and pull it down, it'll copy the layer down below it. So now you really have two layers that are just the same thing. Then you want to go to the one that's underneath and you want to go to effect controls up here, make sure motion is twirled down and just scale it up until it fills the entire screen, All right? This is something you'll see done in videos a lot and I'll do it a lot too. Then come over to this panel here go to your effects and then search for Gaussian blur. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I've been using this forever, but you're going to find the Gaussian blur. You can also go to the video blur and sharp and you can find it that way, but search for it, make your own life a little bit easier. And then drag that onto the clip that is underneath. This is going to come up. You're going to find the blurriness of it right here. And you're just going to pull that up and that's going to make it blurry. And then you can kind of play around with this. Use your own best judgment to determine what is blurry enough but that'll give you one of these looking things that will look something like this. I'm going to mute it for everybody. Okay. And then you'll have that background mirroring what's actually going on in the foreground, but this often just helps. It's a nifty little trick to use in order to utilize a vertical video horizontally or vice versa. Or you could do the same thing that we do with the vertical video where you just use a solid background, same exact thing, make the color mat and stick it underneath there. You can do the same thing in the vertical video here where instead of using this white color map that I just accidentally got rid of, you can just make two copies of this layer, add that Gaussian blur to here, and then bump up the blur and make sure you scale it up 
to the size of the frame, at least the size of the frame. Obviously you can scale it up further and then bam, you've got this type of thing going on right here. This never, I don't think this looks as good vertically, but again, that's completely up to you. So if you have any questions about how to do all this, I kind of just made this on the fly again. I'm liking this little setup I've got going on right here. So you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more tutorials done exactly like this. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment below. I'm gonna keep trying to come out with more of these tutorials and really focus on those of you that want to make money with your video edits and not necessarily those of you that want to make the cinematic quality great. Not, not that I don't value that cinematic high quality production, I do. But first of all, I'm not the best at it. And second of all, there are so many videos on how to do that. I feel like there are, or is less content on the internet about how to make money video editing and more the business side of it. So I want to focus on that. Communicate, engage, do all that stuff down below. And I'm going to see you guys again next week.